In Tibet we say Shine. Shi means peace. And Ne means abiding. Now here what we have to understand. Now when we say peace, sometimes we consider like, okay, when I'm very hot, I'm in a very hot weather. Then when we enter into the room, we feel very peace because there is a uh, there is a aircon. Air so this is also peace, but we are not talking about this kind of peace actually. When we see good things, we become so happy and peace. We are not talking about that. When we hear good things, oh you are wonderful, you are nice, or like you are such a great, or something, you know. When you hear some good, we become happy and we feel peace. We are not talking about that peace. When we smell something good, we again become peace, we are happy, not that peace. We are not talking about this. When we taste something very good, we become peace, we are happy. Peace of mind we get. We are not talking about that person. And feelings, our body feelings, a very good feeling. As I said, like in the heart, very difficult, oh, very hot. When enter into the room, we feel so relaxed because of air condition. So we feel peace. So we are not talking about that peace. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Shine means she means peaceful. And here, peaceful doesn't mean the peace that derived from the senses. Not that. By eyes, we see so many good things. Not that. Hearing very good things, good sound, peace of mind. When we hear the music, a beautiful music, we become so peaceful. We are not talking about that. So likewise, not senses about that peace. So here, now peace means then what? The question is, if it is not, now till now we have been looking for peace mean if we see good things. We are looking for that peace. Peace, if, till now we have been expecting or like ex wanted to hear some good news. If some good news or oh, peace. So this is our peace. If we smell some good things, if we test some good things, tasty things, or like the good feelings. So this is, if you check properly, if you look properly, if you check properly, if you examine properly, there will be no peace than this till now we have been looking for. We have never looked the inner peace. Till now we have lost with this peace. Yes or no? Now examine ourselves. Examine ourselves. We have been lost with this. Either we are, you know, we want such a nice place to look and to stay. Till now we want to hear praise. Oh, good things is such a great, is so wonderful. We want to hear something. Always looking for that. Smell, taste, feeling, everything we are looking for that. And these are all considered as outside. Outside. And these are not permanent. Now we examine properly. If we look properly, these are not permanent actually. These are very, very temporary. So in that temporary, we are attached to that. When we attach to these temporary things, when this temporary thing dissolves, then again we get, you know the result. <laughs> we become again <laughs> sad or unhappy. And sad or unhappy simply means suffering. Yeah. Right. Now, when we say that we should not derive the peace from those senses, now why? Now we have to ask question. Why? Why? Is it bad? Now, I think it is not bad actually. It is not bad to derive peace of mind from the outer form, sound, smell test and feelings to get that happiness from that i don't think it is a mistake actually but the problem is are we looking for the temporary happiness or we are looking for the permanent i think we are looking for permanent 
we have been suffering till now looking for the happiness from this outside now we have been attached to that till now and this is exactly we have been deluded and we have been suffered and we have been actually like cheated till now we have been you know running after this and if we examine properly these are all temporary and it doesn't stay even if it stay it is going to stay maximum to this life once your body stop breathing the consciousness stop working eye consciousness stop seeing things ear consciousness stop hearing things your nose consciousness stop smelling things good things and your mouth test stops and the body the good feelings you know everything to feel the capacity to feel stops everything so once is it stops that means it is a temporary thing now we are looking for the permanent completely permanent beyond time we have to go beyond time so now there is no other than now inner there are actually like outer inner and secret now outer the uh, phenomena that we receive peace of mind is from uh, five things what i have said before so these five things now inner is shamata and secret is vipassana so this is very important so we should know how to dissolve one into another and another into the most secret part if we directly talk okay shamata means simply okay peace of mind try to do meditation like this and if we do not know the relationship outside then again it becomes incomplete mm. so as a practitioner i think it's really important to know how to dissolve from outer to inner inner to secret and secret to the most <coughs> the truthful state unchangeable state that's called enlightenment